Hello, MechWarriors! How's it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenary Mod, though, because we just installed the Clan Invasion mod and it is beautiful. I really want to see what the new, what the old hero mechs are like in the new version of them, so we are playing some more of the Heroes of the Inner Sphere missions. Also hoping that we can find more items on the way that we can try out and, you know, having just a good time. I want to play X marks the spot. It's up here in Somerset, so we have to somehow get there. Let's go to Callenfold. Callenfold has another industrial hub. Uh, can check out a store there. We can maybe find something interesting. Not that we have a lot of money, because that's our bottleneck currently. But um, yeah, it will be will be interesting to see. Also, our king crab should come online quite soon. So I want to try this beautiful carapace, the um, the ultra auto cannon king crab, and see what we can do with it. Got some refits done. That's good. Question is, do we have money left? The answer is yes. You can buy timber wolves now? Yeah, yeah, great. For 37 million sea bills. But also, Warhammer X7, the Lich. What is going on with him? Is rugged? Okay, stable? Fine, bit of mobility here. Uh, structural re repair cost down, sure. Inbuilt PPC capacitors. So we get 15% more heat and damage from arm mounted PPCs, obviously. The Lich gives us. 30% more armor, 30% more structure, sensor field of view, 360, and 20% better cooling. That's pretty good. Also, heavy PPC. Uh, it says heavy PPC projectile speed, 50%, 25% better, 25 better cooldown, and 20% less heat generation. What a monster. You can easily make a great headshot out of that. I, I want this. I want this now. Also, streaks, 30% uh, more damage, also more ammo. I don't care about streaks. I don't really want them. Also, Lich Laser, 20% cooldown. Oh, sorry, 25% better cooldown, 20% more range, and 25% less beam duration. This guy has options. This guy is really good. So, combine the heavy PPC quirk. It's 25% better cooldown, 20% less heat. That's amazing with the capacitors. So we also get 15% more damage, and then we have the uh, advanced PPC fire control system. I want it. This might be better than the pretty baby, honestly, that we have built in one of the last playthroughs. But we gotta go heavy PPC. It comes with tier 5 weapons as well. So, yes. The question is, how do we get it? Also, hey, look at that. Bushwaka. Pretty cool. Also with uh, Big Gun and nothing else. Just the LB20. Pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, we need money. We got uh, 5 million seabills right now. That means we gotta gather so much more. Ugh. I need these. AP gases are just good. A wire. Uh, there's so much good and interesting stuff in here. Large laser array. Oh, no. Oh, no, you cannot do that to me now. I need to buy the hero, Max, so that's for sure. So let's go ahead and get rid of some autocannons or so. Let's see. Any bad tier items? Drop these. Drop this. Drop... I guess all of these first fire auto cannon fives. Who cares about them? I don't. Alright, we are at 7 million. Oh boy. Um, Gauss done. Clan Gauss. I want to keep that. Hag. I sell the bad hags, I think. It's the only hags we own. Light rifles don't give us money, so I don't bother. Long Tom Cannon. I kind of wanted to use it, but we didn't really get to use it. And, funnily enough, PM ac 8s are really expensive. Sniper Artillery. No, I will keep it. Spinal Mount Heavy Gauss. I will keep it. It's mine. You cannot make me sell these things. Alright. Auto Cannon 2 Burst Fire. Auto Cannon 20 Burst Fire. I mean, we can sell all of these because we have some better ones. This can go... We are at 12. All right, laser weapons. Light. PPC. Capacitor. No. This can go. This can go. Short burst lasers. Rarely use them, so I'm gonna drop them now. ERP. ERP can go. I'm gonna use the clan versions of anything. Tier 1 can go. We are at 16. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Flamers. I wanna keep flamers. Just in case. Heavy mediums. Yeah. Right, so we are technically able to get this thing from the market now, but we also need to think about our upkeep. It's another 
Yeah, we need another 4 million, roughly. Clan Large Pulse. I want to keep the Clan one, actually, although it's a rather low tier. These are, I think, really good. We have a crap ton of medium lasers, so get rid of the tier zero ones. There we go. Short burst can go. I think it's gonna get interesting as soon as we are in the missile section of all of this. So many medium pulse. So many medium pulse tier garbage. Alright, 19 mil. Ah, here we go. Yeah, those regular PPCs will give us a lot of money. That's good. Alright, so we are at 21. Uh, short burst lasers can go. We have a million small lasers, seemingly. Okay, so at this point, I think I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna buy the battle mech now. We wanna try this thing. Where is it? In the market, obviously. Okay, Warhammer, be mine. Thank you. Getting all the heroes, as I was saying. Cool. So, we probably wanna... What's wrong with you? Oh, you got some armor damage. Cool. Um, we probably want to rebuild it a little bit. And I I love what I see here. We have more arm hard points that we can use with heavy PPCs. That's beautiful. Uh, right now... It's a pretty good build, actually. The heat management is, is garbage. Complete garbage. It's not good. We're running... Single heat sinks. Ah, something is missing here. So this thing should be... Outfit with a double heatsink kit in order to run the doubles. But you know what? I drop the mediums. I keep the heavy PPCs. And we are looking for more heavy PPCs now. We have heavy lasers, yes, but not heavy PPCs. That's the thing. I want to make it ideally quad heavy heap. Uh, radical double or a proto heatsink kit, all the cooling jackets that we can find, everything that cools. Everything. Not sure if that's possible. Yeah, here's the thing. Even with a build like that, and let's say this is an XL engine. We don't have the capacity to take two more of these heavy PPCs. Ha! So... Two it is? Plus some garbage? i to revert that. Guess for the moment we're gonna click the repair button. I guess for the moment we drop the case and the streak. Again, I'm not really a fan of those. We max the armor. There we go. We're not even there yet. This guy has a lot of armor. It's pretty good. Uh, we'll give it a double heat sink kit. So we can run the build. Somehow. It's not optimal. It's not even good. Heavy duty. Let's drop that. Give it the XL, maybe. Give it an XL gyro. Yes. Now we can load it up with a little bit more heat sinking. Not a lot, actually, because of the, the light ferro. Who is putting light ferro in this thing? Come on. Be real. I want one more, but it looks like we don't have the slots for it. Difficult. So, advanced PPC gives us projectile speed, another 15% cooldown. That's beautiful. It takes a ton. Ugh. Yeah, we really need that XL engine upgrade. Period. We probably want to drop the lasers. I don't like dropping them, but I guess I have to. It also allows us to put another double heat sink in here. We're getting somewhere somewhere okay it is a start let's give it life support uh heat management is fine sensors would be great cockpit standard is fine i guess we cannot really put anything in there um that makes sense because command console doesn't fit small advance doesn't fit because we want heat management it takes a slot away if you put it in there uh hot seat is not necessary and armor takes it on so we'll go with what we got here all right i mean it's a heavy ppc build wanna try it out Still not enough money. All right. So what are we doing? We go back to equipment. I want to quickly see if we have some missile weapons that we can drop real quick. And then we actually go on the battlefield. I'm just buying all of these right now, right? Yeah. Good. Good job, me. That was that was great. 
Okay. That's what you get when, you, when you're already thinking ahead too much. Drop all of these LRM10s. We don't need them. 15 can go. Yeah, we, we lost money. <laughs> it's fine, though. SRMs can go. Actually, those missile weapons don't really give us a lot of money, except for ATMs or ASRMs. And I want to keep those. Sell those. Sell those. Okay, we're going to keep the fives. MRM 20. I don't know. We have 5 million. So, we are... We're going. We are keeping up the upkeep. Somerset is not reachable. <laughs> Alright. One more jump. But hey, let's go ahead and uh, actually play a mission. We have the King Crab Carapaz online and we have probably also our new uh, Warhammer online. Another thing that is worth, worth, worth thinking about is, uh, I mean, upgrading all of these with mech upgrades from this Cantina operation thing. Thing that we are not really doing yet. Okay, here we are. Let's mark the spot. We're raiding for the pirates. We won't like it. But we will get a Corsair in the end. There's Raider. Alright. Raider is a new unique pilot that we can find. That's cool. Let's play... X marks the spot. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna take money, mostly. Yeah. I don't really care about any items at this Extreme point. Unless we find Hero Max, but... Eh. It's gonna be alright. So, we have one ton under, and that's because we are still missing the advanced fire control system ballistic. Also, we want to go a little lower on tonnage, so that we don't get the penalty. See what the partisan is doing. And then dropping another 10 tons to the blackjack? No. Let's get the timber wolf in here. Alright, I want to play the lich myself. Next, um, next mission. So, we're gonna go with this. Alright, I'm excited. Let's do it. Always fun when you get new mechs and new toys on your hands. And you can, you know, just play around with them, figure them out, maybe optimize them a little bit. It's always fun. Right. So we're playing basically a raid. Great. We just received a message from our I need to fix my weapon groups real quick. Some guy named Yaros Rigas. Patching in the feed now. Hey, Merc. I'm assuming you're arriving at the coordinates I sent your CO. Love that voice, still. Feelings, Not getting tired of saying that. I won't hit him. It's not possible. So, we can do this. That's a cool thing. I mean, whenever we're not in range or line of sight, we can just shoot in directly. Bam! God, I love ballistics. Take him down. Let's see how fast we can crack that party on. Yeah. That's that's a double tap with everything, and it's down. It's a carry on the left. We need to take that. SRMs are always dangerous if they get into close range. The cool thing about my party sound, by the way, is that it will always supercharge. Always. There's no fair chance on AI pilots. It's always gonna be in, in a nice, good position. Uh, let's get the Manticore. Uh-huh. Ba -ba -bam. I think I'll actually play it like that, although we don't see a lot here. I want to see my projectiles. Because I need to know how to how to lead my shots. Should we go all in? Now I need to cool down. We're gonna move a little bit. Great. So, speaking of, uh, we have this uh, kind of 360 line of sight thing. And it's massive. Or is it? Really feels big. But maybe it's because of the map being so small. Who knows? Ah. Gotta lead the shots. Yep. 
And it's so awkward to have these mixed weapons. An Ultra 5, Inner Sphere, two Ultra 5s, Clan, one Ultra 10, Clan. So awkward. Okay, we'll take that and then the Turk. Oh. Ready. I want more max to crush. Also, it's worth noting that whenever I fire all of my weapons, I'm getting hot like hell. Guess a bit of chain firing would help. So... What are we supposed to destroy here? Ah, there. Alright, making my way. Literally. Literally making it. Because it didn't exist before. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go with heat vision. Down. And... Yeah, down. Alright. Okay, I think it just exploded in my face. But that's alright. So, that's the building. Yes, we got it. I'm gonna keep going. There's no stops, no brakes on the pain train. Let's go. It's so fun. This king crab has always been. Sounds. Yeah, I can do the same to you. No big deal. Uh, enemies from behind now. Ooh. This is a quick draw. In general, not the biggest of deals. But let's crush him. Mm, fly above me. Enemies in front of me. We'll take the guys right in front of us. Anticore. Finally, we see some more Manticores, by the way. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. Orion got a seizure. Sorry. Should see a doctor, man. <laughs> Minimum range. Doesn't matter, we got ballistics. Pretty cool. AC-20s. We can really ride that red line. The heat management is good enough, I'd say. Always able to chain fire. We have cooldown periods. Everything's good. What am I supposed to kill here? It's behind the building, right? Yeah, it probably is. Oh, you say ammo low? That's the thing I don't want to hear. Which one? Out of ammo for the Ultra 10. And quite low on the Ultra 5 in a sphere. Ooh, getting already bottlenecked here. That's a wake-up call. So, the mission is not allowed to be any longer than that. Okay. So, we got a thousand meters to evac. It's another flyer coming. No? Okay, we got him with the missiles, it's fine. And we're stuck. Man, this king crab, it just shreds. Now we just need sustain on this. But as I was saying earlier, I feel like mm, double ultra 10 plus LRMs or just quad ultra 5s. And you have a build. I think you don't need to go super fancy and try to maximize the ballistics here. But I feel like you could. Especially when you're going for a dedicated fire control system, then you want to stack up the weapon that the ballistic fire control system is for. So quad ultra five, and you're good. And then whatever fits, either more mobility or some long range coming from the missile weapons. Oh, we did it. Guess what I want on this would be instead of the the inner sphere LRM fives, we need the clan versions of it because they are just half as heavy and still have good DPS. Uh, it's hard to find them, obviously, but that would be a lot of um, value already. And then downgrade from the 10 to a 5. I'd be happy. We'll take 12. What's 12 here? Give me 12. I'll take... I guess I'll just take a little bit of money in terms of items. Just like that. Okay. So, 1700 damage done with our Shredder. 
the next part of the mission. Where is it? Do we want to play this in Somerset? Infiltration right now? Difficulty 30? I'm gonna say no to it. We are just here for the big mission. Oh, and I should have started the repairs on our max. Okay. Exploration quest detected. That's what I am all here for. Yes. We will play that before anything else. Alright. Difficulty 65. We can find some interesting things here. So let's go ahead. Take salvage. Huh. Alright. I can take 8. Uh, this is weird, but why not? And uh, I guess we want to take the Black Knight. I guess we want to take... Let's still take the King Crab. It's not that damaged. It's only four days to get it done anyway. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we do. We get on the mission. I will take the Black Knight as my, as my scout. Because it's the fastest one. It can just roam around. I leave everybody else on the dropship to defend it. And then we hope that we can find some goodies. Let's check it out. Also, we've seen lambs already. Land air mechs. Mechs that can convert from walking around or being a fighter jet scooting into the sky. So, I want to see them. I want to have them. Alright, here we go. Maybe I should take that urban mech. I've seen one already. Right. Alright, here we go. Switching over to the night. Come on! What is going on? Why can I not go for the Black Knight? Dude! I need to know. What the hell? There we finally go. So what, what do we have here? An Owens? Oh, so good. Elementals? No way. We got elementals here? That's insane, man. Uh, you guys, you go here and defend the ship. And I... I mean, I'm gonna help out with this. Real quick. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Um, didn't kill. Crazy. Yeah, maybe just, we have medium lasers, so let's go ahead. Alpha Gamma Beta, you're mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. At your requested waypoint, Commander. Yeah. So again, these guys should just keep everything safe. Nothing else to do there. I'm roaming. It's actually pretty far away, but hey, let's do it. And I kind of hope that we find some decently sized mechs that we can maybe crush. That would be nice. Beta is in the trench? No. Well, we'll see, we'll see. So we have another Owens turret in front of us. Correct. Or not. I'll leave you there. Okay. So, can we already take this? Oh. Now I can. Pew pew, I'm actually quite happy that we got some laser beams. Alright. Generating quite a good chunk of heat though. Huh. Alright, alright, alright. 99%. Come on. Get wrecked. And. Elementals! Are you gonna. You're gonna get killed here. Yup. Down. Still. Uh, I'm at 99. Now we have 100. Alright. Good. We found three double heat sinks. Ugh. Lame. Very lame. Yo, buddy, I got AMS. You cannot hurt me. Hello. Oh. No. Dead? I believe so. 
He survived. Barely. Okay. That's easier than just keeping punching them. Hot seat still on. Commander, Tech Ops is reporting a okay. broadcast. Cut it off before it completes its transmission. You're broadcasting. Uh, do I care? Who's broadcasting? You are? Stop casting. I cast. I don't know. Inflict wounds. <laughs> cool, let's get the Wolvie. La, 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 la. He has a claw. I have punch punch fists. The leg. Will not withstand my firepower. Alright. So, hot seat up. We're gonna go and uh, try to get Alpha now. Probably, probably need to destroy these turrets though. Here we go. Sorry, is this another Owens? Is it is another Owens. It actually takes three punches. And we cannot alpha strike this here. Crazy. Okay. So. Hot seat is off. We're getting into the base now. Trying to get this done. Uh, we've already taken this. Okay. That means we can go to Gamma. Get that. And then turn around. And uh, swap Max to evac. Go fast. Okay. More elementals, huh? Look at him! Whee! And dead. <laughs> Alright, the thing is, we actually took some damage on the, in the process of all of this. Our Harshal didn't repair that quickly. Cool. But I like that we have an AMS. It's pretty cool. Brilliant. Acquired. Okay, 76, 84, 90 something, 100 percent. Okay, we found just heat sinks. Lame. That's actually pretty lame. Okay, let's step into the evac zone and just go home. <laughs> yeah, that's the cool thing about splitting up. You can just easily go back. And here we are. Let's go home. So, we found three double heat sinks and 40 single heat sinks, seemingly. That's not a lot. It's barely worth the effort here. And our loot, our salvage is also not gonna be great. Owens's and in helicopters and I see one Marauder, yeah. Clan Active Pro. Where did that come from? I'll take it though, it's good. Core 300, also pretty good, actually. Arada? I'm gonna say no to it. Well, 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 what do we have here? That's a lot of Owens parts. One, two, three, four, five. So we can build one. Six, now. We could build another one. These come with a potential XL engine, which we can sell for massive money. A Hollander? When did that happen? I don't know. This is a clan SRM2. It says tier 5 here in the list, but tier 1 in the tooltip. What does that mean? I'm not sure. Hybrid heat sinks. Heat bank mini. It's a decent heat capacity, actually. 14 is not bad. For half a ton? Elemental. Can I run elementals? It's probably not advice, because these have no armor whatsoever. Battle armor. Yeah, we can take them. That's funny. I don't want to, though. I think these are not good. They say battle armor profile, whatever that means. I cannot see the quirk right now, but I don't, I don't want to, no. Let's go ahead and pick something that is of value, like uh, part of a wolverine, like... Um... I want these heat banks. Give me one of those. And I guess one battle armor part. All right. Eh. Eh. eh it's, it's a little bit. It's a little bit that we got here. Okay. Quickly repair. We are on a planet where we can keep going. So let's keep going. Okay. Uh, it, it's again maximum money. 
At this point, we don't care about what they shoot at us here, what they throw at us. And right now, I want to test the new mech, the other one, the heavy PPC dude. Let's go ahead and take a look at... Where is it? I am blind. So blind right now. There it is, the Lich. God. <laughs> so, Parisan uh, takes a day off. I'm gonna take some Atlas action here. That seems good. Alright, we wait two days. And then we're gonna go in once more. It's another raid for the pirates. And um, technically... We should have enough firepower with the two heavy PPCs to breach the cockpit in an Alpha Strike. If we find the cockpit. Let's check it out. The medium lasers are just there for some... Whenever there's a tank or a flyer, I want to direct it into the sky. That's gonna be good. But in general, this is all about the PPCs. Alrighty. Instructions. Good. Now. And nice. we have nice. good visuals man. here. Well, food and equipment are great. We can't be running around without fully functioning weapons. Seems good. Your next target is a military supply Seems depot. very good. We want you to raid and get us some ammunition. I don't really see that thing. If you're successful, we'll yeah. be swinging by That's a one shot. We need to cool better or build less heat. So, cooling jacket would be fantastic. Radical proto heat sink kit would be also very good. I don't like us taking on such an extended contract with a pirate yeah, group. Yeah. I don't know if tanks are the best targets for me. Also quickly. Not enough. Not enough. But we got friends, so we don't care. Another flyer, Igor. Get wrecked. <laughs> That's good. Lasers. I'm trying to trace him. I mean, those heavy PPCs, they just deal so much damage. Ah, wait. This is one of those missions where there will be massive reinforcements if I get in this base. I know that there will be a stalker coming around the corner. Lots of skirmishes. Mm, this is not gonna be good. It's actually dangerous. We gotta deal with the tanks quickly. There's the Bulby. Down. Alright. We're gonna stay out of this. Out of the base. Loot them out. And yeah, that was a blackjack. Has been a blackjack. Ah, building in the way. I should be careful with my shots. Not to waste them. Because they build massive heat. Did I hit him? Alright. There we go. This mech works like a charm. Honestly. Already two heavy PPCs are doing a wonderful amount of damage. And it's not even optimized yet. This is good. This is really good. Not against the tank, though. Oops, I mean, that was a miss. Okay. Alright. So, let's get into the base, see what's happening. I hear helicopter. I destroy helicopter. Okay. So, there's another Igor up there. Also, crab. Doesn't rip the side also apart in one shot, though. What? Okay. He's got some 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 secret sauce going for him. And here's the dropship that I was dreading a little bit. Also, more flyers coming from behind. One. Down. Good. Okay. Shadowhawk. Crab. We'll take the crab apart. It's good. That's the stalker I was talking about. Man, it's good that my memory still works. I love it. Cool. Down he goes. Medium lasers for the tank. And then the Shadowhawk. Uh, again, it's not an instant kill. He was going down relatively quickly, but because of our combined effort. We're cold again. 
I feel like this is a mech that we can put into the hands of an AI pilot easily. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Eh. Get out of here. So, one base up there, one base on the left. We don't need that. We don't need that. Also, I have my weapon group set up in the wrong way. My left and right arm is mixed up. Better. Yeah. More flyers. Okay. Veloc velocity is also very good, to be honest. I kind of value that more and more. In the beginning of the game, I was like, who needs projectile speed? Your projectiles will fly and then they will hit. But it's really easy to aim with that. You don't need to lead your shots that much. You don't need to anticipate that much. Almost got the Vulcan. Laser beam's not enough. But follow-up shots are. Yeah. Not that guy. So, what's the thing that we have to take there? It's also worth noting that the heavy PPCs have a pretty good range. 600 optimal and 1100 max. Okay. Got it. Alright guys, let's go for the last one. More Igors coming down. They will probably shoot me first, right? Rangefinder says 1100 meters? I can't try. Too high. Let's uh, get the other one. And shoot the lasers here. Okay. Got him. I like this. I I'm honestly a fan of Warhammers, but the problem in general with Warhammers is that they tend to lose their arms. This one here eliminates enemies before they can even get into the range to being a threat. That's pretty good. Point proven, right? So, that's cool. It should alert the base, so enemies should come towards us. Here they are. Dragon. Where's your cockpit, Mr. Dragon? Here? Nope. I guess it's a little higher than that. Yeah. Now I'm in the fight. Let's fight. I don't want to brawl with this. No, no, no. I got a headshot on the quick draw. Funny. Good. So, let's keep pushing. With the extra armor that we have, it's also quite nice. This Warhammer is sturdy. Okay. Down they go. So, the only thing left is destroying the last few buildings there. So, we're gonna make ourselves a nice breach and get hot. But yeah, it is, even with the high heat that we produce, it is very manageable, still. Got all of them, let's go. Unless there is a dropship coming down, then I would probably turn around and fight them, but I... I went for money instead of salvage, so I'll... There is not a lot to get from here. Yeah, heavy PPCs with quirks and capacitors and stuff. Hit him. Try to hit him again. Yup. And down he goes. Oh no! Too confident! Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go home. I have nothing to do here anymore. We defended ourselves against the nasty flyers. Yes. But well, let's just go. Man. I love this new mod. It's so beautiful. You gotta get it from Nexus Mods. It's not on Steam, sadly. I wish it was because I really like the convenience of auto-updating. I should also update Coyote's mission mod, right? People were saying something like that. We didn't do it yet. We did it! Okay. So, that was part two of X Marks the Spot. Let's check out what we get from here. And then, uh, yeah, see where we are going. We need more hero max. So far, they are really good. Uh, AMS Mark IV. Good. 1600. Comparatively massive. And we didn't even take that much damage in return. That's pretty good. 
So, looking at the time right now, I'd say, you know what, we're gonna call it a day today. I have a bit of a tight schedule right now. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.